Visualize the estuary of a large river feeding into the ocean. Let's compare the estuary of this large river with the U.S. healthcare system. At the terminal end of our healthcare system is where we spend so much money. In the U.S., we spend almost all of our money caring for sick and dying members of society. We look at the 10 leading causes of death. What two things do they have in common? Well, first, many of these leading causes of death are highly preventable. And second, many of them are chronic diseases. Moving upstream from our estuary, we come to the midstream area. So, what is it that characterizes the midstream if we were to compare that with the U.S. healthcare system? At the midstream of our river analogy are the leading actual causes of death or the underlying causes of death. So what are these actual causes? First and most important, tobacco. Next, diet and physical inactivity alcohol, toxic agents, infections, firearms, sexual behavior, motor vehicle crashes, and illicit use of drugs. What do these leading actual causes of death have in common? If you said they're all behaviors, you're right. Continuing with our river analogy, we now move further upstream to the very beginning of the stream to the actual underlying causes, the ultimate causes of behaviors and consequently the ultimate causes of the ten leading causes of death. So the most impactful, most important underlying causes the ultimate causes of both behavior and the ten leading causes of death are socioeconomic factors. Rather than spending so much money downstream on the estuary on the ten leading causes of death near the end of life or on the sick and dying, we should move upstream, move far upstream to the ultimate cause in our our society, in our communities, and in our neighborhoods. The CDC and many researchers have attempted to estimate the impact on health of various determinants. Almost all of them agree that the social environment and behavior are by far the most impactful factors. So to affect health, to improve health, we need to move far upstream and concentrate in our neighborhoods and communities on the social environment. To really improve health, we need to focus more on the social determinants to move far upstream. Education, jobs, housing, equal opportunity, non-discrimination, and many other social determinants far upstream from medical care from hospital care, from care of the sick and dying, this is where we need to be in the U.S.